Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to be doing the weekly read for the element of water. That's Cancer Scorpio Pisces for the week of June 3rd to the 10th. Alright, we're going to get right into it with the Romance um, Angel Oracle deck. We're going to pull your three, three cards. How are you guys doing this week, this weekend? How's life treating you? My lovely water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. We're going to get a little quick read going on here for you guys for this week. Just to see what you're doing this week. What are you dealing with? Alright. Let's see what's going on for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Show me. Alright guys, Cancer, past life relationship, you have known each other before, alright, wow, Scorpio, worth waiting for, you got this last time, divine timing is at work in your love life, interesting, still worth waiting for you Scorpios, and religious factors for Pisces, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path, okay? It could be you're in love with somebody from a different background, different culture. At the bottom of the deck, you deserve love. The same kind of thing came up, I think it was last week. Worth waiting for past life for you deserve love. All right, let's get your cards uh, out from the Radiant Rider Wake deck. We'll pull your cards and see what's going on for you guys. Wow, past life relationships. Worth waiting for religious factors. So when you deserve love being at the bottom of the deck, it seems to suggest that some of you guys are doubting that. Do you doubt that? Do you need that reaffirmation, right? What's going on with our lovely water sign this week in terms of anything in their lives, general love, relationships? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Show me what's going on with these guys this week. Give me a clear message, clear reading. Show me. June 3rd to June 10th for my lovely water elements. Show me. Alright, let's see what's going on. Cancer, out the gate, oh, ups and down. out the gate we have six of cups, uh, sorry, nine of cups. This just came up for um, Aquarius. Two of discs or pentacles and a knight of wands. Scorpio, you have two of swords again. This came out last week, I think. Just choices, right? You need to make a decision. Three of wands. Thinking about the future and a chariot. A lot of movement going on for you, Scorpios. Eight of Wands for you, Pisces. Queen of Pentacles. And the Empress. Wow. All right, Pisces. You got two people going on there. What's going on with that? Bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. So you guys are all looking for your happily ever after, working towards that. Ten of Cups. Total union completion. Sorry for that quick cut. I'm in the middle of cooking chili and I have to uh, turn the pot down. So, all right, let's get right into it. Like I said, you guys are wanting your happily ever after right now. You're working towards that. Cancer. You started off with the Nine of Cups. Feeling protective. <clears throat> Over what of the relationships that you've garnered. Still though apart sometimes. Still feeling kind of out of the loop with some of the situations you're in. Right? But you've accumulated some really good relationships, friendships. You're proud of them. And you want to protect them. You know, you feel kind of... Nines are about your relationship with yourself. So Nine of Cups is this kind of like self-contentment that you have. That you've accomplished something. Right? That you've established yourself 
You know, it could be that you have, uh, you know, you're married, etc., or that, you know, in some kind of way in terms of um, having uh, relationships that people see, you know, that are successful. You're proud of that. You want to protect that, right? These relationships could be all kinds, you know, family relationships, friend relationships, work relationships, but they're all very, you know, they're positive accomplishments. But right now you're in the middle of juggling two things, right? You're kind of wanting your cake and eating it too. Twos is about balance. Two of pentacles, you know, right now he's balancing two major projects or two major aspects of his life, this character. And it's quite chaotic. You see the sea behind him is the waves are very high and chaotic. You know, and in comes the Knight of Wands. So right now you're juggling a lot of stuff, I think, to hold on to what you have, certainly. But this week is going to be interesting because there's a Knight of Wands coming into you, Cancer. And they're coming in very passionate. You know, they want to have a conversation with you. They want to talk. And they got their eye on you, right? They're like, they see, oh, I see you're juggling all this stuff. And it's interesting, the two characters kind of looking at each other in this weird way. You know, it's pretty funny. You know, the, the, the character on the two of discs or two of pentacles is kind of like, I got this, see? You know, I can juggle this. Watch me juggle. And the nine of wands is like coming right in, kind of like, yeah, okay, sure. But, you know, you're going to put both of those discs down when you hear what I have to say. All right, Cancer, so that's you. It could be that this person is a past life relationship. All right, Scorpio, <clears throat> two, of Scor uh, two of swords worth waiting for is your card. This has been coming up for you lately, Scorpio. You've got a decision to make. It's like, and it's kind of the same theme, you know? It's like there's a decision you have to make about which way to go. You just don't know, and it's like one could be going with this person, or going on, you know, with your life the way it is, you know, you're looking forward, three of wands, you're looking forward, you're wanting to get to that next step, that next shore, you have a vision, um, and you feel like you're on it, the chariot is poised, right, you're ready to make kind of a change, but you just don't know exactly, you know, <clears throat> sorry about that, oh my god, <clears throat> living on the east coast in the city, that's what you're gonna hear, um, yeah, it's weird. It's like it's it's like you're poised and ready for a change. You want to change. You're looking. He's look. The character's looking off into the distance. You know, threes is about loyalty and bonding. It's about loyalty to a vision as well. You know, ready to take the next step. But you're in two minds about it, and it seems like it could be that you may be feeling like you have to choose between a person and a dream, right? <clears throat> Does this person fit into your dream? you know, for yourself? Are they the right person? I know Scorpio, it's like you really always, you know, you always want this kind of Bonnie and Clyde, you know, relationship. So it's like, and this is just obviously a generalization, but it's, you know, this kind of Bonnie and Clyde relationship where, you know, you need to find somebody who's your equal, you know, you're such deep characters and deep thinkers. It's like, you'll only be happy with somebody if they kind of pass all your tests and if they, you know, stand up to your criteria and I feel like right now you're just kind of deciding you just don't know yet and you need more information I don't know how you're going to get it you might need to have more conversations with this person or you know <clears throat> take you know it's certainly twos are also about patience and waiting and curious you have worth waiting for it just could be that you're willing to wait you're willing to wait until something tips the scale um, Pisces, religious factors, eight of wands. You've got a lot of, um, a lot of options coming at you. A lot of people talking. A lot of people want to put their two cents into your situation. Eight of, uh, wands can be quite like chaotic in a way. It's a lot of testing of your limitations and your boundaries, you know, uh, which will you take, you know, some, some of these ideas or some of these, um, um, <clears throat> Messages or communications coming in from people are either positive or negative. These could be ideas as well. Wands being the suit of creativity, right? It's 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 you as well. You could be just kind of feeling like trying to come up with uh, 
ideas, right? You just be, could be keep feeling very creative right now. But Eight of Wands is definitely a lot of information coming in, whether it's from outside or from inside due to your creativity or it's from other people putting their two cents in. But it's a lot and it's a, it can be a testing period. You know, it can be quite testing for you to try to keep your cool, to try to make the right decision, to pick the right options, right? You have two people here. So religious factors, I think you're caught between two people. Could be two mothers. Could be caught, you know, one is high priestess and one is queen of pentacles. That's interesting because a high priestess could be the religious person in your life. Could be a mother figure in your life, right? Um, or a mentor or, you know, but some kind of person who is kind of like a spiritual kind of um, lodestone in a way, a kind of spiritual guide for you. And then you have Queen of Pentacles, and that's somebody on the other side who's quite nurturing, they're prosperous, they have money. Um, they can be quite perhaps aloof, perhaps. They don't have as, you know, as much in common with each other. Both of these are, are queens, they're both you know, a priestess and a queen, but they're both regal in their own way. But you see, they're not, they don't have much to do with each other, right? So the queen of pentacles is just purely into her pentacle, whereas the high priestess is just on a whole nother, a whole nother level of spiritual growth. And it could be that you might be between these two characters in your life. One could be your lover and one could be uh, your family person, right? <clears throat> Who may not be approving. Right. This could be your lover, and the high priestess could be representing perhaps a mother or a figure in your life who means a lot to you, but who is also like uh, uh, very spiritual, very religious perhaps. And it could be that um, this queen of pentacles is not jiving with her vision for you. Somewhere along the line, though, you're caught between two completely different characters, both just as worthy as each other, just as formidable as each other. And you're trying to come up with some ways here to try to handle all of this, Pisces, right? To try to be able to bridge bridge the gap between the two if there is oh. one. Hang on. Hi again. Sorry about that cut. That time, that was my daughter. So, <laughs> coming in to tell me something. But in any case, let's get some clarity on these cards. I'm going to get right back into it. And I told her to stir the chili for me, so we're good. All right, let's get some clarity on these cards for my lovely water signs today, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Interesting scenarios for you guys this week. Very interesting. Let's give me some clarity on my lovely water signs for this week. June 3rd, that line of face down. June 3rd to the 10th, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Show me. Show me. Ten of Cups came out in the last reading, same exact position for Gemini. Unbelievable. Seven of Swords as well. Interesting. That's for you, Cancer. Scorpio, you got the High Priestess. Three of Swords, aha. Uh -huh. So that might be why you're trying to decide. Perhaps you've been heartbroken by a person like this before. Two of Pentacles for you down here. And Five of Swords. Wow, so interestingly enough, some repeat cards. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Sorrow, right? Despair in a way. Um, broken hearted, <clears throat> you know. Five of Cups is giving in to kind of your despair over past relationships that didn't work out, kind of wallowing in it in a way, you know. So being over sentimental, over emotional. <clears throat> Cancer, your clarification is Ten of Cups and Seven of Seven of Swords. So yeah, absolutely. You're trying to get to the Ten of Cups. You have this up here. You're already almost there. You're at Nine of Cups. You're at that stage where you're looking, you're reflecting over your relationships, but you still want to, of course, get to that ultimate Ten of Cups. You see the two swans they made for life. Ten of Cups is that established, lifelong relationship, right? So you have your two pentacles here where you're really trying to juggle two things. This Knight of 
Wands is coming in, but somebody's coming in like a thief in the night, too. Seven of Swords is coming in like a thief in the night as well. Could be that this Knight of Wands is somebody to watch out for. Right? This person could be positive or negative in your life. Somebody is there right now. Seven of Swords talks about somebody being very jealous of you. They're very jealous. They want what you have. They want to take it from you. They don't want to work for it themselves or get it out of their own account. They want to have what you have. Right? And they're willing to take it from you. So, this is usually, I say, somebody quite close to you. Now, could be, <clears throat> right, my lovely Cancer, that somebody sees you're, you working towards your, your happy place, right, your happy dream, your Ten of Cups, and they want to take it from you. This Knight of Wands could be someone who either protects you from this person or they are that person. I have a feeling this Knight of Wands is here to protect you from that person because the energies of these two cards could not be more different. The Knight of Wands is a very uh, in, is a person with very, a lot of integrity, dignity. The Seven of Swords energy is a thief in the night. He's a coward. He's a lazy person, an idling person, you know. Someone who is based in their thinking, you know, crass. Yeah, slow to move, <clears throat> you know, uh, uh, you know, doesn't make the right decisions, you know, just generally a coward and a covetous person who wants what you want and is as happy to get it in the quick, cheap way, you know. So, yeah, you got some stuff going on in your life here. You're juggling a lot. Could be this person is the, per is the reason why you're having to juggle all of this, right? <clears throat> Remember, this Seven of Swords is usually someone who's close to you, all right? People can't hurt you unless they're close to you, unless they know you. Think about it. You know, have you ever really been truly hurt or fucked over by a stranger or someone you barely know? Of course not. They may have tried. You know, you know there's that kind of random act of personal violence that you have with people that you barely know, but the dent that they make is minimal. It's the people that we let in close who hurt us the most. So if you're going through a lot of turmoil, you just can't understand why. Sometimes you need to look at those who are close to you, especially if there's a lot of chit-chat and talking and ru rumor gossip. Seven of Swords, Swords being, you know, the mental, the communicative. Could be a lot of gossip. <clears throat> the grapevine is vicious, I always say, you know. Scorpio, your clarification was the High Priestess and Three of Swords. So, your decision here, worth waiting for. I feel like there's someone in your life, right, who's very special. You see them almost like a high priestess character. Very spiritual, very magical, very powerful, right? Could be male or female, doesn't matter. Um, and you've been kind of with someone you think, either you've been with someone like this before or you haven't and you're very worried of being heartbroken you you know i think you feel like if you let this particular person in you know and i almost feel like no you haven't been with somebody like this before scorpio this is a very specific message this is a person male or female like i say it could be a man as well but someone who's very enigmatic very magical they just suck you in you find yourself staring at them all the time you like them you want to be closer but the fear of them breaking your heart, I think you feel, Scorpio, like if this particular person was at ever in a position to break your heart, that particular heartbreak would be devastating. It's almost as if, you know, you haven't even gotten into something with this person yet. See, you're still deciding, two of swords, Scorpio. You're still trying to make your decision. You know you want to move forward. The chariot is there. The three of wands is there. You want to move forward with your life, right? And I feel like deep down inside, you, you fantasize about moving forward with this high priestess character, but the thought of possibly one day being heartbroken or in some way that it would fall apart, the fear of that heartbreak is holding you back. That's the message I'm getting here. And so you're still trying to decide, still trying to decide. You're not moving on from this person, but you're not moving on either. You know, you're not, you're not moving on from them and you're not, you know, but you're not moving on with them either. Do you see what I mean? It's like, you're not ready to get anything going, but you're not ready to stop the whole train either because this person has, 
I believe has got you absolutely sucked in. You may almost be feeling like it's like that oh mojo magic. Like what are they doing? You know what I mean? Are they are they like you know, are they laying the mojo on me? Cause they're just pulling you in so strongly. And you want to move forward with them, you know, that's I think very much so, but you just that fear is really paralyzing you and you're stuck here at the two of swords trying to decide. This person is the person that was worth waiting for, but now that they finally come into your life and you realize that they're the one, it's extremely terrifying for you. Pisces, two of pentacles, five of swords are your clarifiers. So five of swords isn't so much the thief of the night, but he's the one who's just won by cheap means. He's uh, He doesn't play fair. You know, the people who he's battled are disgusted with him. He's got no nobility no 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 honesty you know he's cheated and lied his way to success so it's very hollow victories it's the hollow victory card five of swords and two of pentacles of course over here again it's juggling juggling two two very important parts of your life not surprising with these two characters these two strong characters in your life pisces you could be the high priestess right Coming up against this Queen of Pentacles also. Right. It could be that you're dealing with somebody who's making you kind of not question but reaffirm your beliefs. You see, you have religious factors here, right? Because this person could be pushing your buttons, eight of wands, for you to really bring out your high priestess. Like, look, you're not gonna, you know what I mean? You're not gonna change me. This could also be two people who are just you know, kind of at an impasse in your life and affecting you. You certainly are juggling two things. I feel like this is almost two lives. Is this a double identity, Pisces? Are some of you living a, a double life? Right? Could be some of you are living a double life, you know, like you have a whole family somewhere else or a whole relationship here and another whole different relationship here. Kids could be involved. Right? And uh, it could be as well, you know, that's funny. That's a funny little side uh, or a little spin to the message that I'm getting that, you know, what if both of these cards are you, Pisces, and you're just juggling two completely different sides of yourself, two completely different lives, and it's getting chaotic with the Eight of Wands. And here somebody is, is not playing fair. Is it you? Is it somebody in your life? Is somebody, is somebody perhaps... Could be, this could also be somebody who's using, um, who's sneaking around trying to collect information on you, trying to figure out what's going on with you. There's some kind of something going on here where someone's being very underhanded, right? They're being very underhanded and they're using very nefarious means to get what they want. And this is a problem for you. This is going to be a problem for you. This is going to make it harder for you to juggle these two pentacles, Pisces. So whatever it is you're wrapped up in, watch out. Because somebody out there is not playing fair. And the problem with scenarios like this, if this is a double like kind of life scenario, which it could be. But if it is, the problem with those is that they never work in the end. They always fail in the end. And the reason why is that you make certain assumptions in life and a lot of people who are in situations of control where they're where they believe right that they're controlling everything around them especially for instance like somebody who's living a double life say you have you're in one relationship here you have a whole nother relationship in another town over with kids and everything uh, a lot of times people who are in those type of scenarios and that's an extreme scenario right um, that's an extreme scenario. I'm not saying that that's what's happening here, but it could be elements of that almost, right? However, the person who is at the center of those relationships or situations oftentimes makes the mistake of assuming that nobody else around them is doing what they're doing. Or that nobody else around them, that they're the only ones who are playing by these rules. Or that they, because they're at the center because they have this mistaken belief of control, right? That they are somehow able to control all of the players, but you never have control of all of the players. And assuming that you are the only one thinking along the lines that you're thinking is always a, a mistake. <clears throat> 
And so somewhere along the line, somebody else starts to fish, starts to dig, starts to have second thoughts and blah, blah, blah. And they start to do their own thing to figure out what's going on. And eventually the whole situation is found out. Um, so there's a lot of assumptions that people make who are in situations like this. Be careful not to make those assumptions. You certainly have people out there who are willing to do whatever it takes, just as you are, to, to get to the bottom of a, of a secret, of a relationship, or whatever. I'm just saying that. That's an aside. If this is somehow resonating with somebody out there who is in that kind of very specific tricky situation, okay? But for the most part, I feel like this is just also just you, you know, Pisces, you're juggling two different worlds and, and two different energies and um, you're going to have to make a decision because it's getting out of hand. All right, so this is it. This is the love reading. Well, the general reading, I wouldn't say love though. There's a lot of relationship issues going on here this week um for the week of june 3rd to the 10th for the element of water that's cancer scorpio and pisces so if any of this video resonated with you you know what to do like subscribe share hit the bell so that you can get notified on all my videos not just some of my videos and for now i'm just going to tell y'all i love you so much have a great week bye bye water signs